Sound check. 3, 2, 1. All sounds good. Okay. We'll chop off this front part later. 3, 2, 1. Welcome to this bonus video on how current works. I know, yes, we've looked at drift velocity, we've looked at current in the conductor and all that stuff. But before we go on to other things, you must have an idea of how current works in a circuit. What's a circuit? Well, let's build one, shall we? Uh, let's see, I have a battery here. Why not? Okay. And as I build this, we're going to go through seven facts of the battery. Um, well, do you need to know this during exams? No, they won't ask you to memorize it, but it will be good to know because when you get to more complicated circuits, then you will, well, you will have to use these ideas to help guide you along the way. So it's very important to know the basics uh, to help have a better understanding of what you call this um, circuits. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff here. Okay. There's electrons nicely in the wire, but notice they're not moving. Why are they not moving? Well, you say, eh, miss, you haven't connected the thing. Okay, okay, let me connect. Eh, still not moving. Hmm. Anyway, pause right there. The first fact that I want you to know can be observed from this picture right here. Just observe only. Okay. The first fact you need to know is that charges come from the wire itself, not the battery, yeah. A lot of people, mis a lot of students mis mis misunderstand this, okay? So look, the charges are already there. They don't just all come out from the battery, all right? So that's the first fact. The second fact is that charges cannot flow if it's in the open circuit. What does it mean, open circuit? Okay, you look at this picture on the left. Um, here is the switch. We call it a switch like in the in the symbol symbolic form you will see it look like that. Okay? It's basically a gate. Open, close, open, close like that. If it's open, the circuit is not complete, current cannot flow. You must have a complete loop from one part of the one side of the battery to all the way to the other side. You go out, you must come home. But the gate is broken. Okay? So current can only flow in a closed circuit. How to close the circuit then? We close the switch. We turn on the circuit. Okay? Close means turn on. So, uh, let me see. Let's click this circuit. Click. Oh my goodness, it's moving. Okay, uh, we don't want to look at electrons moving. Let's look at current, conventional current is moving. Okay, it's moving, but it's moving really, 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 really fast. So the words down here say, oh no, simulation speed reduced to 1%. Why is it moving so fast? Wait, let me check one bit. The, oh my goodness, 4,000 amps can kill you 4,000 times. So what's happening is a short circuit. We just shot the battery. You see the battery on fire already, right? It's gotten so hot because the current flowing through it, flowing through the whole circuit is so, so big. That's what we call a short circuit. We do not want that in real life. We also do not want that in any theoretical question that you solve. Okay? The problem is there is no resistance in the circuit. Well, there the is resistance in the wire. But it's too small. The current is way too big, so we need to do something here. Well, 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 let's turn this off. Spare the battery. Hmm, let's add some resistance in the circuit. Okay, we'll come to the next fact once we add that. Let's put a resistor there. Okay, there. I guess we have to connect some wires. And connect wires on the other side. Okay, these are this tiny little thing with stripes and resistors. This one is 10 ohms, 9 volts. Let's try to turn on the circuit by closing it. And hopefully the battery doesn't catch on fire. Oh, look, the current is now flowing very slowly, peacefully. It's not too high, too hot that the battery cannot handle. Just nice. Let's see what the current is. Curious. 0 0.9 amps. Sounds about right. For batteries, about the normal ones we use in lab, it's about 1 amps. At most, 5 amps. Um, your house appliances may go up to 10 amps, but that's really, really big already. So this is just nice. We got 0 0.9 amps. I want you to notice something. I'm going to switch to electrons a little bit. Okay, now that everything is normal, the electrons, most of them, will be equally spaced. That's one fact. If you look throughout the circuit, electrons are equally spaced. 
But why? Think about it. They're all the same charge, right? Negative charge moving. Or if you think of it, positive charge moving. They're all the same charge and they repel. So the moment I open the switch, they'll just chill where they are. You know, I don't want to get too close to this fella. I don't want to get too close to that fella. So they'll just, they'll be equally spaced. That's a fact. Okay? Light charges repel. Now, the other fact is, okay, here is 0.9 amps. What about the current through the resistor? Also 0 0.9 amps. Oh, I like this machine. Very handy. Uh, current through here, leh. 0 0.9. Here, 0 0.9. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Okay, all 0 0.9. Good to know. So the if in uh, something is in series, okay, current going through a component in series with the battery will have will experience the same current. 0 0.9. Battery on top. 0 0.9. What if you have more resistors? Can uh, Can add more? Uh, can. Let me just snip a bit. Pull this over, add a resistor. Ah, yeah, what happened to this resistor? Connect. Okay, it's moving really, really slowly now. Uh, 0 0.45 amps. Check the top 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45. Everywhere is 0 0.45. Okay, so current, if it's connected in series, means only got one road to go. One road to travel, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, I should do conventional current. There we go. Conventional current. This is where you write I. Everywhere will be the same current flowing through all components. That's for components in series. Series means only one road. What if you have something else called uh, parallel? What is a circuit in parallel? Now, I'm going to have to break up this circuit a little bit. Let's just delete all this. It will be kind of easier. What I'm going to do now is, let's move this up a little. I'm going to put a resistor here and another resistor there. This is like normal, lah, okay? Everything 0 0.9. Okay, 0 0.9 everywhere. Now, what if I add another resistor and I give the current the option? When it comes to this junction over here, it can choose to flow through this one or flow through the other one, take another road. So now there's a junction there, there's two choices for the current to flow. I'm going to flow here or flow down here, also can. We'll see what will happen to the current. So let's put this here and connect up the circuit. Okay, this is what I call a uh, refresher of your previous SPM IG. It is called a, a parallel circuit. In other words, the battery and the two resistors are parallel. So it means current can come down, take different roads. Let's see what happens when we close the circuit, turn it on. Ooh. It's still flowing. You don't really, can't really see anything different unless you have a very good eye. Notice how up here, the arrows are moving a little faster. But once you come to this junction, it's slower already. What's happening there? Let's go to the top. On top here, the current is 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8, 1.8. Okay, it's all 1.8. But when we go down here, it's different. Let's bring in more emitters to measure the current. Okay, okay, okay. So update 1.8. After the junction, you become half already. Oh. Come here, it's half. This one, eh? this branch also half. So that's the other fact. When in parallel circuits, when the current comes to a junction, it will split. In this case, uh, both resistance, resistance on this pass is 10, this resistance also 10 ohm. Then it will very num num very nicely split into half. 1.8 divided by half is 0 0.9. So here's 0 0.9, up here also 0 0.9. Go, go, go. Then they join together here, man, both roads. So that means, when you come over this side, it should become 1.8 again. So this current, and this current will join together and become 1.8 again. Uh, it will only split in half if the resistance is the same, uh, by the way. I can I think I can change the value here. Ah, let's let's change this to 5 ohm. Okay, now this is 10, this is 5 already. So the main current, current through the battery, that's what we call current through the battery, 2.7. Once it's split, oh guess which one will have more current? 
Uh, you can cheat, you see which one moving faster, like this one down here or the first one up there. It looks like the one down there is moving faster because it's facing less resistance. It's like you trying to go through a very crowded tunnel. Less resistance means you can go very fast, huh? no traffic jam. Huh? But this one, 10 ohm, huh? lots of resistance. So I bet this current is smaller. So this current is 0 0.9. This current, oh, 1.8. That's more than that. Okay, still same thing. It's the current at this junction is still splitting. It will rejoin at the end, but now it's not an even split. It depends on the ratio of the resistance. So that's the fact number six. The final fact, it's kind of an interesting one. I want you to think about what will happen if... Let's open the switch so you know spoilers. Okay. Now, okay, now we have a nice circuit, right? Current can flow everywhere. What if I cut this here? Yeah. Then it's a broken thing. How do you think current is going to flow? Look at it. Take a guess. How is the current going to flow now? Don't worry about the numbers. We'll calculate that some later time. Think about this conceptually, yeah? Okay, hopefully you got a kind of an idea. You like, uh, miss, it will go there, can go there, cannot go there. How? Huh? Basically, if it's broken, current's not going to flow through it. It's just going to ignore this completely. Go, go, go. No point, go here, dead end. So I uh, keep going. Then go here, I have no point go to that. I want to go home. So I go home to the battery. So current will flow in loops. Now the last one is what if, this is the final one. Oh, I should add on fact number seven. Current will choose the path of least resistance. And that is our final demo or final observation. Now let's say I connect that back, connect that back. But instead of the 5 ohm resistor at the bottom, I just connect the wire. Lah. What do you think is going to happen now? Really? Why got so many wire here? Take a final guess before we call it a day. Now look at look look at this uh, fact number seven. Current will choose the path of least resistance. They it's like us like we are human, right? We look at it. Ah, oh, so hard. Don't want to do like I choose an easier road. Okay, <laughs> that's what current does too. Okay, so if you guess. Do you think any current will go through this 10 ohm resistor or not? Let's see. And the moment of truth is... Ta -da -da, oh my goodness, it's on fire again. <laughs> well, 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 well. The current could go through here, but you see they like make it very light. It's like it does not want to go through that because there is resistance. Why go through resistance when you can just take this easy wire back home? And of course, no resistance law. So you see the current is <laughs> very, very big. Again, this is not normal. Current should not be in the thousands normally in circuits. Okay, so current wants at least a resistance and things like that. So hopefully that was helpful. These, um, some of these observations will be very helpful. Make sure you don't just memorize them. Make sure you understand them. Play through this simulation if you want. The link is in the description below. We'll keep seeing this simulation. But bear in mind how current works in circuits. This will be very important as your fundamentals as we go on to calculate circuits. Right? Otherwise, uh, you all will just memorize equation, circuit, apply. I am miss, don't know how to do. Circuit change a bit. I am miss, don't know how to do. Hey, you must know your basics. How does current flow? All right? So I'll see you in the next part on PD, uh, Potential Difference, and EMF. More fun stuff, but you're really getting to the application zone now. But yes, go play with your currents.